I think Xavier just dreamed this into existence. Check it out. It's right there. I think it's a gopher. Maybe it's a beaver. everyone um, good morning just getting ready for the day um, we're not really sure of our plans we have something for me but it looks like we're not going out today because there's gonna be a heat value around a hundred degrees what Fair is this height. Texas is this some kind of joke I thought we were in like on the East Coast some kind of joke so that's nonsense. I can feel it already. I just I have the door open and it feels like major sticky in the house. This, the humidity is gross. Right, Daddy? Yeah, no, don't worry about it. We're going to stay inside and we're going to be cool with mortgage refinance documents. Well, I think it's possible that if you dream hard enough, things can come true. I think Xavier just dreamed this into existence. Check it out. What? What is that, buddy? It's actually the... It's the bird. It is! What the heck is an excavator doing in our backyard? That's crazy! Yeah, that's that's a big one, all right. That's a big construction site one. So, I mean, technically it's not our backyard, it's our neighbor's backyard behind our backyard. I don't know what the heck's going on over there, but I guess they must be planning to dig something pretty big. But that's gonna be, uh, Xavier's gonna love that all day. <laughs> wow, buddy, your dreams have come true. What is that doing over there? Hmm? I'm sorry, we can't go see it, okay? But we can look. So, it's been a couple hours. There's not a lot going on today. We went out really quick to drop off some paper so we could save a little money on our mortgage. Um, but that was like a quick, quick trip, and that's boring, so you guys don't need to see that. Um, I'm just sitting having some lunch. Xavier is napping. Somehow he's napping through all of this nonsense. Oh, of course they just pulled away. But we've got a dump truck out there. An excavator is filling the dump truck. It kind of looks like they're probably taking apart a pool, but we can't see because of all the trees. But it's very loud and uh, banging and crunching and squealing. And I'm actually surprised Xavier is sleeping through all of it, but that's good. So the plan is to pick up some Chinese food at some point today. Mm. Did he wake you up from your nap, buddy? Yeah? Actually, it's all night. Yeah. Chinese food time! Chinese food time! Yeah, are you going to get takeout? Yeah. We're going to show Xavier the aquarium. Yep. I know, but it's horrifying. See a fish? Is it scary? <laughs> it is pretty big. Is that the only one they have? Probably because they ate all the other hey, well, fish. Oh, it's a scary fish, all right. It was big. Hi, fishy. Hi, fishy. Look at that big truck. <laughs> So apparently we came all this way with Xavier to show him a terrifying fish to hunt in the nightmares. Yeah. And yours, right? Oh yeah, that thing was, that's a scary fish. They used to have um, parrot fish in there, like the orange ones that you typically see, but I don't know, I guess that big one ate all the uh, parrot fish or something. I don't think so. It doesn't look like a scary predatory fish. Well, it's scary. It had, it had teeth. Yeah, but it's small, like, vegetable eating teeth, like people, like molars. I guess. I don't think it had a big enough mouth to be like a giant predator fish. Have you seen fish? I just saw one. They That's can all open. I need. They open their mouths and stretch them to do crazy things, just like so they you. become like ten times bigger than their bodies. Well, you ready for Chinese food? Look, all right. I don't want to argue about the fish. All I know is it's scary. <laughs> And that's that. Yeah, that's a scary fish. Fish is scary. Got like a storm coming in on the way home. And it just never does it justice with cameras. I don't know. Maybe it'll look better when it's. You guys all simmer down here. I'm recording a thunderstorm. It's important to me. Anyways, it looks awesome. Check this out. We got soup for daddy. 
And we've got some crab rangoons for Xavier and Nami. And what do we have? Sesame chicken and crab rangoons and fried rice. What do you see? I can do. You see the food? Yeah, should we get you some? Yeah, we'll get you some, okay? You're, are you so excited? Say, say, I'm so excited. So excited. <laughs> yeah, there. So, we know Xavier likes crab rangoons. Careful. Yum. And we got him some chopped up sesame chicken. Let's see if he likes it in some fried rice. Right, bud? But normally he just eats the crab rangoons. Yeah, you gonna try those? It's right there. Get it in me. Dig in time. Just thought to come out and look at this big sun shower. Look at it. Just coming down. It's pretty cool. It's fogging up. I heard him. Is he coming? Is he coming? Is he coming? Where is he? Hey, Xavier. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> oh. Oh, he found Francois in the tent. Be gentle. <laughs> is that Francois or him? It's Francois. Uh -oh. <laughs> Who is that? Be gentle with Francois, please. Oh, is that your friendly cat? Is that your buddy? Say, I love you, Francois. I love you, Francois. I love you, Good boy, Francois. Hey, Xavier, that's probably good. I just opened the window and I was like, what the heck is that massive thing in the middle of the lawn? Let's see how far this will zoom. I believe it is a giant gopher. Yep, it's a giant gopher. Just sitting there. I think it's a gopher. Maybe it's a beaver. I don't know what that is. It looks really big though. It's hard to see his tail. I wonder why he's just sitting there like that all still. See if it moves. That thing's chubby. I think it's a gopher. Oh yeah, it's definitely a gopher. Does not have a beaver tail. I think beavers are bigger and darker brown. That's funny. So they eat in the lawn. Well, it's time to say goodnight, so I'm gonna wrap things up. Today was kind of a weird day, just sort of a low-key kind of day. I don't know if we had that much that was interesting to you guys, but between the excavator and getting the Chinese and stuff, it was still pretty interesting for us. Um, we had some pretty good storms come through. I didn't get all the footage of it actually lightning and thundering here, but we had some pretty loud uh, bangs that sort of made Xavier slightly nervous. Um, I always love storms, so of course it's cool for me, but yeah, so I'm going to finish editing this vlog and you guys will see it and I hope you guys have a good evening, so bye-bye.